What's good, tribe? It's the priest. I'm finally back with another pick a card reading. In today's reading, I'm going to be focused on what dreams are becoming reality very soon for you. So if you guys are here, there are four different cards that you guys can choose from. Each card has a different energy. Most of the time, it's going to be your energy that you're picking up on. So whichever card you are drawn to is going to be the one for you. I'm going to be channeling messages directly from your higher self and the universe about what dreams are currently becoming a reality right now. Sometimes we overlook it and we don't see what's happening physically with our eyes. So we assume nothing's happening, nothing's shifting. Well, I'm hearing that your dreams are coming true. If you landed on this video, your dreams are coming true. Okay. You didn't just randomly just end up on this video out of all videos on YouTube. So it's now time to trust in this and I do believe each card has a different version of a journey. So I'm really excited to get into this reading. So for the chosen 333, I do readings on the tarot chest and I drop a video every now and again. And those are completely exclusive to you. And if you're looking for a rare reading, there's only 333 of them when I drop them, which is pretty cool because it's more personalized for you. So those are off the grid readings that allow me to go really into depth, to play music without the copyright, allows me to cuss, allows me to put the images that I want on display. So if you guys are looking for more of those type of readings, you can find that at thetarotchest.com. So if you guys are here, there are four different cards that you can choose from. The message is what dreams are soon becoming reality for you right now. We have card number one, card number two, card number three, and card number four. All right, I will meet you guys on the other side. Love and light. All right, card number one, if you guys were drawn to this card, this is your message directly from your higher self for what dreams are becoming a reality soon. I'm first going to get a message from your future self. If you guys were drawn to this card, what I'm picking up is your life is shifting drastically. I'm also hearing and feeling there's going to be more rest, more rejuvenation that's coming into your life, which means there's going to be more trust that you have in the universe to keep things where they should be. This is allowing you more relief. So with Embrace Enlightenment, you are getting ready to walk your path of what you're truly here to do. So that's what the back and forth has been with the 2-2. Um, even could have been in 2022, you've experienced this. You are choosing a path right now. We have half faith in your dreams. So the path that you are going towards is your dreams. So have faith in your dreams if you're here. This message is for you. If you are lacking confidence, you've lost sight of who you are. And guess what enlightenment is all about? Enlightenment is about the truth of who you are, what you are. So there's more for you to discover about who you are in your spirituality is what I'm hearing if you are here. All right, let's get some more messages. I want to get the tarot out. And then I want to pull from a few oracles that I was drawn to use specifically for this reading. Okay. Messages for card number one. What dreams are soon becoming reality for them? You don't have to do this on your own. The universe is helping you. This is where the enlightenment comes in. It's very rare that people reach enlightenment. Okay. It's at the very, 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 very tip of our energetic field in the sense of being able to reach something so powerful, right? We have shelter, we have our needs, we have our social needs, we have all of these things, but at the very, very top, at the peak, we have enlightenment. You are going to the top of the mountain, but you are not being guided by yourself. There's um, um, a vibration, a shift that's getting ready to happen in your life where you feel the presence of the universe more where you're open to communicate. Give me the energy for card one. Those that were drawn to card one. What dreams are soon to become reality? Okay, I have you dressed up here, knight of swords. I have queen of pentacles here. So I see stability for you, for your family. Some of you guys could be a single parent. You don't have to be, but I'm picking up that for those of you um, who are here. I'm seeing you're gonna have stability for yourself. There's something about independence. Okay, there's many paths that you are seemingly choosing, like there seems to be a lot of pathways, but what Spirit is saying is there's only one that is true to you. To take time 
the dream that is coming true is happening very quickly, all right? It's stability. It's you being able to do this on your own. There's something about independence here that's very important for you, um, for you to not be dependent on other things. I see that there's a material breakthrough coming through, you having more material success, having clothes that you actually really want to wear, you're not looking at the price tag, that's coming up. So we have practical dreams coming through. Let me get one more card for what other dream is coming through. True. Realities that are happening. We have the three of cups and we have the ten of wands. So you are ending things. You are ending cycles in your life with the ten of wands. What was heavy? What was burdening? What you can no longer do? what you had to motivate yourself to do, conjure yourself up to do. You are walking away from those things and you are going towards what brings you happiness. With the Three of Cups, your dream of celebration is coming through. People will celebrate you more. Um, you have a, just a simple dream of being able to rest. For some reason, there's a lot of resting, restoration, retreat something in about a retreat. Some of you could have been planning or wanting to go on a retreat. Okay, this dream is coming true. I'll just keep saying all the dreams that they're giving me that are coming true because that's kind of what I'm seeing. Your dream of connecting with the universe and hearing from God is coming true. Okay, you're going to see your vision. Um, you're, you're, you're going to feel a lot more intelligent when it comes to things in your life, and that's because you have insight coming from this enlightenment. What else is happening? What dreams are coming true for card number one? All right, we have the great severing. Yeah, over the 10 of wands, you're letting go of what is bringing you conflict and going more towards love, going more towards things that are easy, um, that are natural, that are flowing. That means you're going with the current. All right, so the dream is coming true, however, there is a severing in your current reality that's happening for this dream to come true. It's something I said in the other video, which is not to be sad over the old that you're letting go because our old clothes, our old shoes, we just, what we want to just keep them in boxes and closets to know that we have it still. It's okay to let things go. It's okay, you know, because it, it's like there's fear here. Um, look, karmic relationships at the bottom. So there may be that you won't meet this again, do this again, whatever the case may be, your dream is coming true and anything that have, has to be severed is just making room for the dream. So what else is happening in this dream that's coming true? So there's more love that's coming in. It feels like, once again, this card wants to come out. Dreams of coming true, see, there's a parallel reality happening right now. and you're growing and you don't see it. You don't see this happening. This is enlightenment. This is the spiritual realm. This is embracing the unknown, embracing the spiritual side, embracing expansive thinking outside of logical thinking because you can't see this dream coming true. You can't see these dreams coming true. You having your own, you will have your own. That's the dream that's coming true. Your own, you will not have to ask. You will not have to borrow. You will not have to earn. It is yours. Like, that's what's happening right now. But because you're facing rock bottom situations, which is having to sever, sever certain relationships or um, experiences around you, you are being cracked open. But this is surrendering to the alchemy of life, which is the good and the bad, right? Not just focusing on what you're, you feel like you have to let go of or surrender but to focus on the dream that is coming true, which is having the faith. So this dream that's coming true, you're being cracked open for this, all right? So what that means is it means like, yeah, you, you are being stretched to let go of certain things in your life um, because they do not have room for what you are asking for. If there was room for both, the universe would just simply allow it. And there is friction with the old life, the old you, and this new dream life that's coming true. What else is happening in this dream that's becoming a real reality? Imagination, all right? So if you find yourself at a pause right now, spirit is saying you have the power to imagine the next, look at this, winning. You are meant to win. If you are here, you are a winner. This is your quote. This is your motto. You are here to win. 
but you will only win when you are true to you. And you don't have to force you to do certain things, right? You're going to win at the things that are natural to you. You're going to succeed at the things that you're naturally aligned with. And so there's a sense of embracing more of this journey of self-discovery. Get to know yourself, your body, mind, and soul, yourself. This dream coming true. Why is imagination here? Don't overlook what you have to offer. It is valuable. So enlightenment also is when something is enlightened, something is dawned on you, right? These we call revelations. It's like, oh, this idea came from nowhere, or oh, this vision came from nowhere. Spirit is saying to imagine more, imagine more. The imagination is the very, 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 very first step to manifestation. You have not imagined yourself in an expansive way. So the enlightenment is to shed light on the more in the world. You're getting ready to see that there's more for you and you're gonna say, oh, that's, there's more. That's why I'm letting this go. There's more for me. So I also see there's a lot of youth coming back to you. You could have been drawn to another card. A lot of youth is coming to you. You're going to feel younger than you've ever felt before and it's an energy. So imagination is conjure, dreams, create, is where you're creating. When you're imagining, you're creating. Have you? Okay, so I just ran out of storage on my SD card. So that could also be a thing too, is just your power, where you've been placing your energy and your focus. What you focus on becomes real, kind of like a lens of a camera. You could be a photographer. If you are a photographer, it's time. That's just confirmation, okay? I'm specifically talking to you now. That, that was just for you. So once again, your imagination is you having the ability to see through the eyes of the universe. If you can imagine it, you can have it. These are the keys of enlightenment. Enlightenment is the highest truth, and you are after that. So that's why you were drawn to this, is there's more for you to know about your authority and what you're connected to. Enlightenment is the truth. You're connected to the universe, which is guiding you through various ways, through people, through messengers, sent me to you. What a coincidence. There is no coincidence. Every single thing is literally divinely orchestrated. They're bringing me to that, that show, The Good Place. Kind of how when they went to heaven and they orchestrated it to be hell. It's like every single thing in this life is orchestrated for you. And guess what it's for? For you to win for you to win <laughs> and if you're not winning then it's you're not having fun like it's not about winning a competition this is in life what makes you feel like you've won or hit the jackpot is your dream don't overthink this this is very simple very subtlety it is what you're doing naturally it is who you are it feel, if it feels good, follow it. So don't overcomplicate this by thinking it, thinking about it. If it feels good, then follow it is what your higher self is saying. Walk away from what doesn't feel good and walk towards what does and what is going to happen, what dreams are manifesting. Surrender to sweetness, pleasure, joy, make love to life, Venus energy. So heaven on earth, you are here to experience the pleasures of this life. So what's coming true? Retreats, vacations, traveling, exploration, being in nature, more pleasure, more joy, and all of it is linked to your finances. Because the more joy you feel and happiness you feel, you're sharing, and that's coming back to you in materials. So you are being guided right now to win in whatever it is that you're doing. If you're an athlete, okay, I talked to the photographers, now they're bringing me to athletes. If you are an athlete or if you desire to be an athlete, you are the best. You are the winner. You are the winning team. Nobody is better than you. And what's so funny about competition is that it's so stupid 
it puts so much pressure on people because it makes doing what you love and enjoy like a job. But when you have fun and you just simply believe that you're, if you desire to be the best at it, not everyone desires, oh, to do this. You may have this burning desire to be great, to be a champion, to be the best. If you love being number one, it's not about an ego perspective. This is about being able to embrace this version of you that feels like a champion, right? So, so don't judge yourself. There's a lot of judgment coming through here. And it, it'll be very hard to align with your dreams if you are judging them, okay? It'll be very challenging for you to embrace them. There's something about embracing the truth. Embrace who you are. You are this person. Embrace that life is meant to be sweet and pleasure so that your life can start shifting around this. All paths lead home. It seems like there's all these paths. Remember I was saying that? I was like, okay, I'm just talking at this point, you know, paths. All paths lead you home. There's no such thing as the wrong path. But if you want to go home sooner, follow your intuition. You have inner authority. You have an inner guidance, and that's what this enlightenment is so important. Okay. Do -do -do -do. If you guys are here, card number one, what other realities are coming true? Okay, we have a card that just fell. We have cards that are c falling. Let's just see. Now, any message that comes up is not by coincidence, okay? I feel like you're going to meet a soulmate or have some type of partnership that's coming in that's important to you. We have this card that fell, and we have this card called soul gifts and training it's time to step up okay so you're being called to step up it is like a spiritual feeling okay intuitively you may, may have been feeling like you wanted to to get more connected to the universe hearing seeing feeling this this these messages feeling the truth okay we have the secret the unknown mysteries and wonder and guess what this is all about enlightenment. The truths and the mysteries and the unknowns and the wonders of the world is what lights you up. You may be a light worker. A light worker is simply someone who is called to bring the truth. All right? Because the truth is the light in the dark parts of this world. And when you speak the truth, you literally are healing. You literally are sharing a power. You are gleaming your light. You are sharing your truth. And as we pass over out of this life, out of this body, whether we decide to come back or not, these truths will remain. And we are the ones who are leaving the truths behind to find. It is so deep. You are connected to um, the... Huh, the ever-flowing genie, it, you know, from an ego point, it comes with perks, okay? This comes with perks, but it may feel bittersweet because it's feeling like a severing that is happening. But what dreams are coming true for you is that you're getting ready. You get to be you. You get to just speak your truth, be your true self. So many distractions. So many distractions pulling your power back pulling your power back, your, your focus, your attention, where is your energy going? Bring it back to you. Bring it back to you, okay? That's what your higher self really wants to tell you. Your dreams are coming true, all right? I definitely see there's a celebration here on the card. So a celebration is happening, material success is happening, and this dream is unfolding. And this dream is connected to the mysteries and the wonders of the universe. And so this is what's exciting you. And this dream is being the best, okay? And this is not about competition. Competition is ego, okay? Once we compete, that's, that's you're in your ego. Go above the competition and know who you are. And if that is who you are, you're the best. And it's, it's like, it's crazy when you have this enlightenment. It's powerful. It's powerful. Some of the greatest athletes, some of the greatest writers, some of the greatest musicians have connected to this. And this is just the universe. They don't know they're doing it. You have an advantage because you know what this is. You, you're here on this video. So I, that tells me you're aware. 
So you're part of the winning team, and that's what's happening in your life right now. That's the dream that's coming true. So if you guys are looking for more information, definitely check out the description box. Comment down below. I can't wait to see you guys soon. I've been hibernating, but I'm about to come out pretty soon so you guys can see my face again. If not, connect with me on Instagram. I'm always on there at energy, I-T-S-I-N-N-E-R-G. So I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys were drawn to card number two, this is your reading for what dreams are becoming real in reality for you. You guys could have also been drawn to card number one. I'm getting really strong retreating vibes for both of those cards. So I'm seeing that you could be definitely led into nature, but I'm getting that you're being led into a place where you are going to find your tribe. There's, you're being led to your tribe is what I'm hearing. So you could be literally physically being led to a specific place. Um, and so a dream is definitely coming true here with meeting people who are like-minded. Um, I also feel like a dream is coming true with maybe you connecting with your guides. Maybe this could be a dream for you. What dream is coming true here? Be free to express yourself. Okay, definitely could have been drawn to card three. Be free to express yourself. Give me two more for card two. Dreams coming reality. You are meant to be free. So freedom is what you are here in manifesting in your life. Financial freedom, I'm hearing. Financial freedom, being spiritually free, not being bound to any religious beliefs, cultural beliefs, labels. Huh. It goes on and on. Free from obligations. Free from obligations. So imagine a life where there are no obligations. So they're, they're basically... You're becoming the greatest version of you. That's you. If you are drawn to card number two, you're becoming the greatest version of you. And the greatest version of you is free. Once again, there you go. Confirmation, you will be hearing from your future self very soon. You will be hearing from your guides. Now, I always tell people that you could be interested in tarot, actually, because Tarot Priest Academy, um, you guys can find that. I always tell my students that silence and solitude is the quickest way and the actual way to connect and hear God's voice because it is not going to come from a voice of like words all right that's why we have cards actually that's why we have tarot and oracle cards so that we can communicate and give the universe a voice and I always say that the cards are a language so once again I'm teaching you and I never even mentioned tarot priest academy so you could be interested in learning how to read cards or maybe getting your own deck. This is confirmation. If you have your own deck, maybe for fun, for fun, there's something about not putting so much pressure on things. It's when you're having fun that things are lighthearted and they work out mysteriously is what the universe is saying. No, it's not mysteriously. It's just you allowing it, okay? Letting go of this control so things can flow is what I'm hearing spirits say. Your next life, your dream that's coming true is you being financially free. Let's just talk about that. You're ending many things to be financially free. It will be worth it, okay? If you're wondering if the grass is greener on the other side, the grass is always greener on the light side. The light side is the right side. If you don't know the light, the light means the truth. Okay, if you're here, you could definitely be connected to music. This is your confirmation, poetry, sound. It doesn't matter. You could just really love it. There we go. Knight of Wands. Yes. Music, what you're passionate about, could write, could sing, could rap, could produce. All right, maybe you don't do those things, but you love music and you would love to play a part in it, whether it's listening to it, hearing it, being around it. Don't put so much pressure on things. Card two, that's what I'm getting could be a Libra. You don't have to be because I'm getting justice here. I think that once you suck the fun out of it, it, it's not, it's, you do it because you feel free. Whatever this is that you love, it's about you feeling free to express yourself. Whatever those things are is what you're here to do. And not to be so strategic about it. You might not want to, I might not want to read cards tomorrow. I might not feel inspired but that doesn't mean I still do it because it's on my to-do list. At that point, I'm forcing myself to do it. I'm forcing myself, literally. Now, if it's something that you love to do and I say, hey, go listen to your five favorite songs and you're gonna get paid 100 bucks every time you listen to it. 
you would be having that thing on repeat. So that's how easy things are supposed to be for you is find that, that like, and you don't even have to find it. It's literally the universe is giving it to you, delivering it right to you. Hey, this is what you're here to do. Look, you're having so much fun doing it. You feel so good. You feel so free. Yeah, but people are saying that when I do this, I'm irresponsible and I'm lazy and blah, 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 blah. So obligations, being free from obligations, being free from opinions, that's the dream coming true. Can you imagine a life where you don't care about what people have to say? Can you imagine that freedom? You are meant to be free. You are here to be free. That's why they're saying to retreat in nature. Nature makes you feel free. You can actually go out to nature and scream. You can go out to nature and make a fool of yourself and, and no one might see you. There's a, there's a place where you can be vulnerable, where you are safe and you can be free and that's nature. So that's why they're saying to get to nature, get to solitude, take some time for you. <clears throat> Card two, what dream is coming true? Okay, if you're stressed about it, if you're worried about it, you, you're not in alignment with what feels good. And it doesn't feel good not to be aligned because when you're not aligned, you just don't feel good. And so it could be causing you some sleepless nights here, Nine of Swords. What's causing them sleepless nights? <coughs> we have card two, what's causing them sleepless nights? Knight of Swords, how things are going to work out, how they're going to work out, just know they will work out, okay, collaboration, how things will work out, accident, danger, caution, injury, okay, some of you could have had something happen, maybe are afraid of something happening, why is this here? Thank you. Reservation, desire, self-worth extravagance okay someone might be getting a car here someone might be getting a new car why is accident here some of you could definitely be worried about something not working out um withdraw maybe something that you are withdrawing from maybe not having help okay um, let's get some tarot as well. Two of Wands. We're going to clarify why the nine of, wand, uh, nine of Swords is here. They're up. Sleepless Nights. We have collaboration. I feel like you have help coming in as well. You might have a business. You might have started a business. You might want to start a business, but you don't know how to do certain things. And it's not for you if it doesn't align. That's the cool part of this. I definitely feel like you could have been drawn to card number one. There's more enlightenment to understanding about this. Be patient with yourself is what I'm hearing. You're not waiting for the universe. It's not the universe like, oh, let me see if they're worth giving this to. It's the universe is like a parent, a parent who has a child that they love dearly and they want to get their child everything in the world. They don't want to hold back. Have you ever known a child and they weren't, being good and you just wanted to give them something, maybe a sibling or someone, you're like, I just love them so much, I just wanted to give this to them, but their behavior, it's like, that's the, the universe, it's not about even behavior, it's not even in any of that sense. It is from the place of having unconditional love for giving you all of your desires and delivering them to you. The universe is literally a genie that we don't know how to use. They didn't tell us how to use it, they kept that to themselves, which is why we're here, is to find the light, and we're discovering the light is, oh, we actually aren't meant to live in these systematic matrix ways, and et cetera. I don't know why they're taking me here, but there's, there's more for you to see and experience, and so you might be taking this journey now on your own to be free, and s maybe you wanna take people with you and they're not ready to be free. You deserve to be free. Okay, and that's something I'm hearing very clearly. Stability is coming into your life where you will be okay. You will not have to stress and worry, okay? So something that it may have happened to hold you up, I see that it's all for your good, all right? Usually if something happens, the universe uses it to bring, to deliver us what we're asking for. And sometimes we don't know. 
Like one time I got everything in my storage stolen. I went to go get all my stuff. I was so excited. I just got this new streaming chair, my camera equipment, my lights was in there. I go and it was all stolen. And obviously the only thing they didn't take was my tarot cards <laughs> and my table, which thank you once again, here you are. You might be into tarot. If this is your sign again to get into it if you haven't. And um, they left me that, and that's pretty much all I need to manifest everything was the table and the card. So I still have my table from the jump that I've started with. And I, for that par portion, we have these 3D things happen, and we question. But because I'm so connected to the light, I went directly to the truth. What's the truth of this in the higher perspective? And it actually worked out in my benef ways, various than one. And obviously in that moment, we can't see how this is beneficial, but that actually ended up being a really great check that it wasn't about the money as much as it is like the universe knew to keep this for a specific time because I would be purchasing something like it was it's so intelligent, the universe that you trying to figure this out is going to just stress you out. And that's why it's like connect, connect with this, this on a deeper level, you are here to be free. So the dream that's coming true is yes, you're gonna be withdrawing from people, all right, why? Because you're getting into more solitude, you're getting into more of you. And let's just see what's gonna happen here. I see someone, if you're here, a new car, if you haven't already, I see a new vehicle coming in for someone here. Um, we have the Page of Wands in reverse. Why is this here? Now some of you, it may be just time to take that self-discovery to see and that is what's gonna happen. So the dream that's coming true is, your reality is that you're able to adopt life from a youthful perspective. A lot of youth coming in here, a lot of childlike energy, something that you did when you were a child, maybe you didn't do for some time. Maybe you put it on the back burner because you didn't think it was a good business approach. We have death, um, Scorpio energy. Why is this here for dreams coming true? Dreams becoming a reality for deck number two. The high priestess and strength. You could be a Leo, you could be a Pisces, will of fortune. Everything that has happened is destined to happen. There is some type of opportunity that is coming in here. You cannot see this. For some reason, I have to tell you, card two, you cannot rely on your intellect in this next season of your life. Your intellect has taken you as far as it has taken you, and now there's another tool called your intuition that is now going to guide you through the unknown. Your intuition acts as a light in the unknown, which is the dark. So you cannot see if you're not looking through your spiritual eye, your intuition, whatever you wanna call it, it is your gut, it's a feeling. You feel it when you walk in a room, you feel it when something's off, you feel it when someone's gonna get angry, you can feel it before they even get angry. You can feel that. That, the more you communicate with that, the louder it becomes. And eventually it becomes a speaker box. And that's why I say even this becomes so flowing for me because I talk to the universe all the time. We're best friends, walkie talkie connection here. So you're just coming to me and you're asking me, but who am I asking? I'm asking the universe, all knowing, all knowing omnipresence. So this is the, an energy that we cannot even as humans conceive an energy. And I'm teaching you guys, once again, Tarot Priest Academy, I'm teaching you. I never do this. So you're being called to being a shaman. You have a gift. You have gifts that you are overlooking, is what I'm hearing. Um, and you're getting ready to, your gifts are going to put you in a position of being able to indulge in the greatest things of your life because you actually being inspired alone is gonna teach people. You being happy, you just being happy is gonna teach people. It's crazy, again, this is an infinite. And so you're coming to me and I'm going to the all-knowing omni. So this is in all places, at all times, this energy exists, it's omnipresent. We call it God, the universe. So I'm just connecting with that. And I've, I connect with it so much, it became a job. And now I'm really exercised. That muscle is so exercised. When I'm in the unknown, it's still bright. I can still see. But that's for you too. You're building this strength in your intuition because it's guiding you to, let's just see. You need to see this for yourself, Spirit is saying. What is this guiding you to or from? Big picture thinking. This is guiding you to something 
deck two, you have not even imagined this yet. Like, that's how limited we are. You still have, you have not even imagined this yet. And so what this is, is it's a dream. It's, it's a life that aligns with you so perfectly that you feel excited to live it. Visionary, you are visionary. You can see things before they happen. A clairvoyant, Steve Jobs was a visionary. He could see in 10 years, this is where things are going. He could see that this is what this could be. You have that gift. You are getting ready to see this gift come to life. The more you trust your intuition, the high priestess is in reverse. So that's why I said, be patient with you. You're the one that's not seeing. The universe is very, very clear here, very loud. But you have to go beyond your intellect to connect with this dream. And I can tell you one thing. If you want to know the clues to the dream life you're meant to live, you can just simply create a vision board. A dream board, places you dream to go, cars you desire to have, energies you desire to feel, whether it's support, love. Just type in a word and see what picture you gravitate towards. Why do you think you gravitate towards that? It's an energy magnet pulling you towards it, saying, yes, this is for you. <laughs> so it's a picture. if it's a picture of a family, whatever it is, it resonates with you for a reason. This communication is very loud. You just simply are not hearing it properly, okay? So you are manifesting a dream life. It's fortuned. We are at the bottom of the card. Wait, it's not time yet. Once again, spirit knows this because you're not ready. So that's why it says be patient with yourself because it's like you're going through this unknown, this un tunnel, and you don't know why. You're getting circuits of this dream life. The more you connect with it through your imagination, the more things that you connect with, what excites you, what inspires you, it's all communication. And it's saying, yes, yes, go there, go there. Literally, this is how the universe is communicating with us. But how do you know this? I can only tell you because I chose this life. I chose to know what this was, what this universe was, what, how we were connected. And that is a light worker, literally, wanting to know the light, wanting to know this because of a deep desire. And now that I know, what is the first thing I want to do? I want to share it with you. So you want to share these truths with the world because like, can you believe we're here and we have these powers and we can do this and it's destined? Even scientifically, they say our lives are destined. It's so magnificent. And so you could have definitely been drawn to deck number one. Definitely check out everything that I have going on in the description box, whether it's catching an episode of Level 11 or catching um, – free training on the Tarot Priest Academy. There's tons of free training on there to see if this is something that you want to get into. And then lastly, if you're looking for in-depth readings about your psychic abilities and the destined life that you're here to live, definitely check out the tarotchest.com. You are meant to be here. You are definitely meant to be here. And what's happening is it's something you cannot even see. So spirit's like, okay, let's just take some time and open up your, your spiritual eye yet. Because if you're focused on reality, you're focused on the reflection. It's just reflecting back to you. It's crazy, but these truths are so indulging. You will just want more of these truths, and that's how you know. You are here as a light worker. You desire this, and you love to share it, and it's, it, it, it makes you feel so good to do so. So before I keep rambling on, <laughs> that's why I said definitely check out the in-depth readings. I'm going to move on to card number three. Card three. You're here. The message, first and foremost, drink more water. I don't know why that's coming through. Um, drink more water, drink more water. You are being led home. You are being led back to you, back to your authentic version of you. You are breaking free. You are flying again. You are getting ready to feel younger than you've ever felt in your entirety. Okay, a lot of youthful decisions. You're starting to align very perfectly with the truest version of you. Every decision you make is literally adding up and changing and shifting every single reality that you're experiencing until you wake up one day and you're finally in your desired reality. 
Now, what is this dream reality? A deep breath. Now, three out of three, all decks are to simply be able to just breathe, to breathe, to feel like you're above water, well above water. That is the dream life that you are attracting for yourself and shifting. That's what's becoming a reality right now. And I also am getting a message because I didn't even know this was here. You will soon discover how capable you are. Wow. So once again, when you see messages like that, I'm just, you know, I'm looking around and I'm just taking in what spirit is telling me, showing me, just I'm hearing to just take a deep breath, relax. Things are working out for you just because you cannot see them. They are working out for you. Okay, so you're getting ready to have, look, 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 stop. Can't make it up. Stop. Stop and drink water. Okay, I love this. Yes, yes, I love this. You are attracting so many beautiful things into your life. Card number three, a soul family is coming into your life. Why? Because you will be now radiating in your authentic version. So you will now meet those authentic beings that are reflecting this version of you. You will recognize them. They will feel familiar. So you are part of a soul team. You are calling in a lot of support in your life right now. And this is confirmation that it's happening. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. That's what they're giving me. You are worthy what you're asking for. You are meant to shine. You are a star, card number three. This is the first time I'm saying this in this entire reading. Understand that the universe doesn't need to say your name to be speaking to you. That's not even who you are. That is just a name. The universe is always speaking to you, tugging at your heart through your inspiration, through your excitement. It's like for some reason you're looking. This communication is very right there, breath of the cosmos. My will to thy will. The spirit, your spirit, take a deep breath because the universe wants exactly what you do. Wants more than you can want for yourself because you don't even know your capability. We're limited in this mind that we think in, which is why you must connect with the spiritual version of you. In order to do that, you are breaking free and you are getting ready to feel free. You are the child of the cosmos. Look at all this energy here. Look at the colors. Let's get another one to balance this out. Thank you. Woo. There's nothing you have to do to earn this. Like to earn this life. Like you are going to be crying so many times tears of joy with miracles that are getting ready to happen in your life. You are a golden child. You are called, you are being called, you have a rare gift. You could have been drawn to card number one as well. I would go in and watch that. Your inner child is being tugged at. We also have tenderness here. So the universe has this very tender spirit with you. And sometimes you may even find yourself being a little bit stubborn to this, okay? I wanna get one more card. One more card. Why were they drawn to card number three? I want to piece this all together so you can see it for yourself. All right? There's a specific path. Even this is aligned, okay, with the colors. There's a specific pathway. You are here. You are chosen. You are chosen by specifically not living a life like everybody else. You're being chosen to actually walk in these dreams, talk about them, even if it sounds crazy to you. Something inside of you is believing, knowing, actually. Maybe struggling a bit to believe, but knowing deep down inside that you are meant for more, that you are meant to expand, that you are being called to this. You are being shifted into becoming a star in any way that you see. The star is someone who shines, someone who's noticeable, someone who looks golden, someone who stands out from the crowd. 
Look at these children. They are all rare is what I'm hearing. You are rare if you are here. Give me some tarot on the current events and what they're attracting. You have a new path here, an ace of wands, a new path that you have created now. So the way that they're putting it is there is a bunch of different movies, just like ne Netflix, and you get to choose what movie you want to live next. It's next lift. <laughs> Netflix, but next life. There we go. Anything you desire, you must, the only alignment is that you must truly desire it. That's what they're saying. It can't be, oh, to make my dad proud or, oh, because I want people to be proud when I'm this. It literally has to be for you. So if no one shows up, if no one's proud, would you still be doing this? Choose something that you are so deeply connected to. There's so much passion and igniting, and it's like your flame is lit. You're so excited. I'm going to tell you right now, card number one is going to explain a lot of this. You're a light worker, card number two. The whole reading you might listen to. I don't know what four is given, but I definitely know one and two. You're a light worker. You're a child of the cosmos. You have the intellects of the universe that lies within you, which once again is bringing me to two. I talked a lot about the intellect and having that ability. You have this ability. You are breaking free so you can see this ability. So this might be, if this is your first card that you're choosing, you are headed towards one or two, depending on which path you choose, <laughs> literally. You're choosing the path, you're choosing the movie. And this next movie is an ace of wands, which means it lights you up. You are inspired to do this. You, it is a wish come true to be able to do this. And it's simple. A wish come true to do what? Let's start with something simple. A wish come true to just be able to sleep in. Ah. Wish come true to not have to check my bank account. I'm free. I can go where I want. I can explore where I want. I have my passport. I have my citizenship. I'm free. There's, some, there's a lot of freedom here. In many ways, you will shine, whether it's in the public, entertainment field industry, social industry, it doesn't matter where you're called to. Let your gifts shine and let the world title it. Don't worry about what to title yourself or what to call what you're doing. There is no, no way to describe this. You're rare, you're a unicorn. Look at all the galaxies in the unicorn. What jobs would be here for unicorns? Entertainment, yeah, we wanna see a unicorn. So it's like, you know, so you'll know where you're called. And many of you may have just a desire to bring freedom to humanity, to see the world as a better place. Healer, okay, could be bringing new healing methods. Once again, the light is the truth. So it could be the truth in the food industry. The truth, there's a lot of connection with your physical body here because they started off with drinking water. So your physical body, there's a love here that you're getting ready to have. That dream is coming true where you love your body more than you ever have. Doesn't matter how old you are, literally. Age is not defining you. And this is something else that's coming through for you, Zechary. When people say, how old are you? And you have to say the age. I always tell you, if it feels good, it, it is God. To feel good is to feel God. If it feels bad to say your age, it's because it's not true. No one on this earth, if you ask them, do you feel like your age? And maybe they do. Maybe they believe in their age. People who believe in their age might say yes. But I'm telling you, people who are connected, they do not. And you can even see the, the older ones who are like in their 90s, and they look like they're 60, and they're just living life. They're not even healthy. But somehow, they outlived all these people. They have this youthful spirit to them. It's your energy, your youth, your spirit, your body is like a vehicle, simply a vehicle that has an expiration date. It has a model, which is the gender. It has the year, which is your age. The more you believe in it, the more you become it. People who believe in age so much, you can hear them limit themselves just, yeah, well, you know, I'm 43. Well, dang. If you don't believe in your age, you will never age. <laughs> Literally, it's, it's so funny to me, but if you just look at, do a little theory around your little house or your family and ask them and you will see 
um, not to believe in this. And so age doesn't even resonate with you. That's why it's like, ah, they say I'm this, but I don't feel this way. So you have a lot of youthfulness coming to you, a lot of freedom so that you can play. Okay. Your dream is just to simply play, to play, to breathe, to be yourself, to be your great version of you, to be able to shine without feeling bad, no matter what that is. I'm getting a little side note here too. Some of you guys could be called to being like an artist as far as a drawler, a tattoo artist. Um, once again, we have inventor energy here, rare gifts, Steve Jobs, king of swords, inventor, being able to see things before it happens, clairvoyant. Once again, it's bringing me the deck too. So king of swords here is, is literally you are becoming a leader, someone who many people look to for wisdom, and that's because you're connected to the universe who is all-knowing. So the more you connect with it, the more all-knowing you become, which is why I even have this information. Um, also spoke about that in deck two. Okay, let's see what else is coming true. We have the Hermit Virgo energy. Introspection here. All right. So you may be taking this time right now to do introspection, to reflect, to spend time with you. Okay. Um, we also have the Page of Cups here. We could have someone coming in to kind of ignite your heart a little bit. So this is something you are also man, uh, manifesting. Someone around you that could stir up some feelings, um, romantic feelings here with the Page of Cups. Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, absolutely manifesting a relationship. You desire to be free, but you're also desiring and manifesting a dream where two people um, are doing this. So you're manifesting who you are becoming in another person. So you still are becoming this person, and uh, whether you met them or not, you're manifesting a person who is just like who you're becoming. They're already free. They're living their life. They feel very young. Um, doesn't matter how old they are. All right, let's see what else is happening here. The Empress, yes. So a lot of confidence is coming to you, a lot of love. An offer is coming as well as what I'm hearing. So you specifically are manifesting a passionate love connection. Out of all three decks, this is the only deck and card that I'm actually feeling that with. So I'm going to pull another card and see what this is about. Um, very rarely. Within the next few weeks, whoa, okay, you're manifesting someone within the next few weeks. If you guys chose this card, a dream is coming true, an empress. This is a lot of passion, a lot of emotional commitment. Meditation brings answers, so there's a need to meditate more. Once again, bring me to deck two. Okay. Success, remain positive in the near future. So in the near future, you are manifesting, once again, somebody here. All right, you're manifesting somebody very quickly. They're saying remain positive. You're getting ready to have success in your relationships, okay? So there's a need. there was a need to break free from what made you feel like you couldn't fly. What was holding you down? What was making you feel bad is what's holding you down. Because if it makes you feel bad, it's not true which is why if your age makes you feel bad, it's not true. It doesn't resonate with you. You know, that's like me saying you're, you know, dumb. It doesn't feel good because it's not true. You're not. <laughs> you can never be. Um, no, you can try to pretend to be, but you literally, our bodies are carrying infinite wisdom, and that is the universe within us. The breath of the cosmos is literally within you. So there are so many truths for you discovering this, and I believe you're manifesting a soul family. You could have already broken free, went through the solitude. Maybe you've been in solitude. You're manifesting people around you who kind of have the same aligned thinking. Within the near future, weeks to the near future, you're meeting a very significant romantic connection with the empress here. Um, a lot of sensual energy, a lot of sacral chakra activation for pleasure, for creativity. I always say, even creating humans is through pleasure. Literally activating your sacral chakra, your creativity is through pleasure. So the more pleasure you're having, the more joy you're having, the more creative you're gonna feel. That's the way to activating this. We have so much red here. It's like there's a significant connection to activating this fire within you. That's getting ready to happen. If it hasn't already, that's another dream coming true. All right, let's see what the last dream coming true is for you. Card number three. Dreams becoming reality for card three. All right, there's something about micromanaging the universe to like 
you know, that is also another, you desire to feel free and not have to do everything, right? You don't want to have to do everything yourself. No one does. Well, the universe is saying, take my hand, let me in. Um, there's no, you, you cannot do this on your own. You're not doing it on your own. You're connected literally umbilically uh, in a spiritual way to the universe. You are the replica of the universe, one intertwined universe, one verse, one song. You are one. So there is no way to detach. If you feel like you're detaching, you feel bad. You feel alone. You feel depressed. That comes from going away from your connection with the universe. Okay, so many of you are being free from anxiety, free from depression, free from just suicidal thoughts. And I always say that if you feel suicidal in any ways, because this is actually pretty common to have this during your spiritual awakening where you feel like, I don't want to be here if this is my life. That's more of the aligned statement. And that is because if your life is not aligned, and you don't feel good about it, you will feel like you want to disassociate with it because it's so out of alignment. And that's just all it is, is even that's communication from the universe saying, er, er, you feel bad, you feel bad, you're getting communication, you feel bad, you feel bad. It's like, because it's not your life. Stop believing in this life. It's not your life. Believe in what is yours. It's happening. Hold the vision. Hold the dream. Okay? So there's something about indulging more in pleasure. Look at this. We have joy. Pride, letting go of your pride, feeling like you have to do everything yourself, imagination, coach, maybe getting a life coach, maybe becoming a life coach, maybe taking the spiritual journey a little bit more deeper into understanding more of yourself and how your imagination is creating things into your very existence. There's more to learn in a fun way. So what's happening is you're getting ready to indulge more. Um, indulge more in activity, indulge more in connection with other people, and also romantically, there's an indulgence here. All right, so I see you could be manifesting a life coach or a mentor. You will know if they're, because you will just feel it. I mean, they might not even have a job as a life coach, and you might, you might be like, oh, wow, you'd be a really good mentor. I just see you're going to be, your next dream that is literally happening is meeting divine counterparts and connections. And you are actually imagining playing more. Imagine more of what you want to do. And you're choosing the movie. Just remember that. You're, you have two aces here. One in your passions and your desires. One in your relationships and your emotional romantic connections. So if you guys were drawn to card number three, the dream that's coming through is the best version of you is emerging. And so many other great things. Um, seeing yourself also. Can you see you? the rare version of you, like there's this obsession in a good way, a love obsession as far as excitement, inspiration of wanting to do this all the time, and that is getting to know what you truly are. Once you get a little bit of the truth of who you truly are, you're gonna be very magnetized by yourself. So there's a lot here that's being revealed and shined back to you um, that you're getting ready to see too about yourself. So, all right. Check out the description box if you guys are looking for more content. Obviously, The Chosen 333. You can go to the tarotchest.com for those readings. Moving on to deck number four. All right, if you were drawn to card number four, lots of messages coming in for you, okay? I hear that this is definitely a resting period for you. You are being called to your masculine energy. So it doesn't matter what your gender is. If you were called to this card, you are being called to being a leader. And so that is being... Uh, masculine, which we call, basically, yeah, we just call masculinity leadership, confidence, um, being the one who doesn't have to look for other people to guide them. I see it says become the master you're seeking. So if you're here, I was also channeling a message that you could be in the process of purchasing land, purchasing a home, or even maybe getting into purchasing property of some sort. Um, there could be land for you, community. There's so much for you here. I see that, once again, you're the person that you've been looking for in other people for, for so long. And you wonder why people just can't like do certain things or be certain things, and that's because that's you. You are that person that you are seeking. Um, you see the world entirely different. You're definitely being called to be a leader, and of course, you're be call being called to become a master. So at some point, you may be leading your own tribe. 
all right which is again a lot of masculine energy so a lot of the males could have been drawn to this card specifically if you are here we have seeing differently roles variation okay rhythm um, music could be important to you also you could be connected to sound healing your life is meant to be an exciting mystery so the dream that's coming true is that your life is going to be more exciting it's meant to be a mystery um, you're not meant to be like all masters you you see things very uniquely you're brave for being you so you just being you is inspiring people from a distance is what i'm hearing all right your growth has been acknowledged by the universe so you are could have been an underdog people could have definitely underestimated you um, it's like last but not least and then they're just people are going to be like wait where did this person come from like people are not going to expect you to even be in this energy so you are becoming the master of your own life your dream is you're the pilot of your own plane you are having more authority and say so over your life than maybe you even see so you are really it's 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 a little bit of a duality here because even though we think we're creating our reality the truth is is that creation is already existing all realities already exist i'm glad we can have this conversation deck four because you do not fit in anywhere okay confirmation you do not fit in anywhere and that's why i said last but not least people could have um really overlooked you is what i'm hearing really overlooked you um, maybe you're just not loud about things maybe you're not boastful about things really just overlooked you all right so you are being guided by the most high you are safe and protected by the most high you are very special now deck three was rare gifts rare children you would be the tribe leader of these children and so you're the going to be a leader to many other leaders so you may not even realize that, but you are literally also communicating directly with the universe. And I'm also getting that your uniqueness is your superpower. You being different. The more different you are, the more superpowers you have, is what I'm hearing. Embrace yourself fully. Um, accept yourself fully and, and the things that you enjoy. The dream that is coming true here is that you are getting ready to see that what you believe in is actually real you're getting ready to see miracles happen miracles occur okay you're going to be leading many people and people will be inspired you will not even have to talk all right this is a very very sacred life that you have chosen to live okay you are a spiritual leader and you are leading I feel like you're the leader of every other card. If this is your first card, you may be leading all the other cards. That's the connection with this reading. I love to like get through it for card four. You always get like, you know, the complex side of things. And I just see that um, even in the readings, every card has a part of the journey. And I'm seeing that you, they're not even close to where you are. Like you are pretty ahead of, of, of many people. I would say when it comes to being connected with the universe okay queen of cups you really trust your feelings you really trust your heart it's become easier and easier over time you've healed you're in a new light here all right let's see what else is happening dreams are coming true what dream is coming true for card four they've waited for so long okay for reciprocation for you to not have to work so hard to receive so little it's it's you're going to work less and receive more this is a reality that's coming true and 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 even for you you may not have been able to imagine that justice libra energy here so you're getting ready to have justice in your life justice is currently being served as we speak the title of this video is called the dream that's becoming real right the dreams that's becoming a reality for you it's not becoming it's now it's happening it's here and it's going to be <clears throat> and it's going to feel exciting all right we have the three of wands you've been waiting a very long time 
If you see 444, that's a confirmation. You are going past the 3D into the fourth dimension. Time and space do not exist in the fourth dimension. This is the spiritual realm. You have mastered many things that others have not. And how else, how would you know that? How do we compare? How do we measure this? Well, that's what this reading is actually a confirmation to show you. That's why the, the universe is saying, hey, look, we're acknowledging your growth. Can you now? And it's like I had to let you know, like, hey, um, you're in like the top one percentile when it comes to what you have mastered spiritually. The more you embrace your uniqueness, embrace your uniqueness and your this perspective that you have, people are admirable of just your perspective on life. Just your perspective. No one else in the world has your perspective. And you're connected to the light, the universe, which is the all perspectives at one time. Like it is like, it's, you can't lose. All right. So definitely, definitely we have the five of cups. No more regrets. No more questioning if this is your path. They're bringing me to the matrix, Neo. This is who you are. You are the one, Neo. But she, the oracle in the movie, the first one, had to tell him, Neo, that he wasn't. Because she needed him to believe and trust in that, even when the oracle, the person they believed in the most, told them no. Because e that didn't feel right. Even when she said it, it didn't feel right because he was the one. And so you will get that communication within that you're receiving. And, and the more you follow it, the more you exercise it. You've exercised this. Okay, you could have definitely been drawn to card three, specifically card three, okay? All right, so your dream is coming true. You're getting ready to receive in the material world, okay? Could be lands, like I said, real estate, property. Let's talk about this. Okay, we have the devil card. Yes, the ruler of earthly things. You could be a Capricorn. You don't have to be. All right, the goat. Many people are going to see you as the goat, the greatest of all time. The only to do it. Okay, the only to do it. And guess what? You, <laughs> I'm hearing from the universe, you're getting ready to find out that you, and it doesn't even matter about being right, but you were right. And it just means what you've been following is true. You're getting ready to see that. You're getting ready to see that it's happening right now. So we have the eight of pentacles. You've been working very, very hard at a lot of the things in your life. Let's see what this is about. Curse. All right. Hate, catastrophe, misfortune. So a lot of your overcomings will be spiritual overcomings. Choosing not to believe in curses. Choosing not to believe in the dark. You will, mm -hmm, yeah, confirmation. You will break many curses off of people's lives because of the light that you carry. It is giving Messiah vibes. It is just a bit. Um, and so that's, I believe, you needed to learn detachment so that you didn't get caught up in the savior role because you're not saving anyone. You have saved yourself by loving yourself, choosing yourself enough to connect with the truth of who you truly are. And as you found and discovered some of these things, many connections were brought to your attention. The universe and how things are working and truth began to manifest. And you knew that there was something more here, way past your ego, way past what you thought, because you can feel it though you couldn't see it. And so if you would have gotten caught up with these attachments to anything, it would prevent you from having a, the right balance for being able to even live this life and walk this life out. Not very many people answer the call. Everyone is chosen, but not every lifetime people wake up to the call here. Once again, they're bringing me to the matrix. You have escaped the matrix. 
So you will have a lot of earthly things, a lot of earthly desires, um, and that is okay. There is this stigma of spiritual gurus where they don't have anything and they look like they're poor or homeless, and it's like, that is not the case here. Light workers, they're the light, they're stars, and I believe you are leading many earth angels, many light beings um, through teachings, mentorships, could be what you've learned through your expertise by you just living and being inspired and having these things um, is saying that you're abundant. Yes, we're abundant and we have everything we desire. So if you desire material things, that is okay. You're an example of this to the world of a different type of spiritual person, you know? And, and even if you're older, it's even cooler because you don't look like, and that's good because we all are one. <laughs> so lots of spiritual stuff here. Look, even coming out, you have the curse, you have sage, you have ceremony, mystery, magic, right, ceremonies. Not, no other cards got this. So I see that you are part of a huge spiritual awakening for the world. You will impact the world in many ways. And you've overcome your ego and done many things people were too afraid to do, okay? And this is literally who you are. So this dream is coming true by you getting ready to see this, okay? Death, endless harm, inevitable. So things have to end. It's the inevitable. Many things had to end. You've learned detachment because it's, you're free, okay? The more detached like you're free, but you're still able to experience and have this um, experience here. So fright, depression, paranoia. So you've overcome many things, perseverance and blessing. You have a blessing coming in. You've overcome many challenges. People are going to ask you how. That's why you're coming up as a leader. Card four. So you have so much perseverance. You have fulfillment, well-being, enlightenment coming in. So you could have been drawn to card number one. And look at this, longing for home, homesick for the stars homesick, home, I always say heaven on mother earth, okay, so you can definitely be a part of the come home tour, definitely check that out down below, the tarotpriest.com, come home tour, homesick for the stars, looking for home, where's home, home is within, but is an energy outside, and you're desiring, and will bring that here on earth, that energy of home, of love, support, truth, knowledge, wisdom, so you are really ca being called to a deep perspective of healing and your your perspective is very unique trust the timing trust the wave you came in on so time is not running out everything is perfectly aligned the only resistance is you allowing it to unfold and we both know this the more you surrender to the flow of the life the easier it will be. You will see the path has already been created for you. You are just simply aligning with that path. Simply aligning. So all creation exists. All realities exist. All you're doing is changing the channel to the desired reality. But as you're shifting in your vibration, your vibration is telling the universe if you believe in it or not. Because if you feel bad, it's giving off an indication it's not mine, it's not for me, I don't deserve this. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's a feeling bad means you're pushing it away. When you feel good, it means you feel deserving. You deserve this. You deserve everything that you desire and you don't have to justify it. It doesn't matter what it is. It's a desire that is coming from a place that is beyond your ego. And you have to trust that. So there's a balance here. Yes, spirituality is great but really enjoying your body, your ego, the pleasures of this world. You are a different type of spiritual leader, one that people have not seen. So embrace your uniqueness because people are gonna say, hey, I've never seen a spir spiritual person that has tattoos. Once again, lots, lots of distractions, lots of healing. So maybe a lot of people pulling on your energy. You've had to learn to detach, choosing yourself. The more you choose you, the more it's like the people around you are meant to get the overflow of what you have, okay? Not the cup. The cup is for you. The overflow is for the people around you. You know, when someone's pouring water and you see the overflow, 
that overflow is your blessings, your love, your peace. And you've been giving from the cup, which is taking from you. And so the overflow, and you can only get overflow if you keep giving to yourself so much that now you have love spilling out and the people around you are just like with their hands open, able to receive it. Very powerful, very powerful blessing. You are here to break the stereotype of poverty off of your life. You will be an abundant spiritual teacher, one that many have not seen. Okay, with the blessing, the fulfillment, it's like you look at the jewelry, like the gold you are meant, like if you have a desire to drive a gold car, seriously, get the, get the gold car because you're going to inspire people. And it's like, Everything is inspiration, even seeing certain successful people and what they do when they create their house and they put certain juices to come out of a waterfall in their room. And you're like, wow, that's cool. What does it do? It inspires you. It brings it expands your imagination like, wow, cool. That's possible. See, we don't understand the benefit of us being inspired. It, it is something that is just it's a different activation here. The blue flame. I can't, I can't. I'm about to retire at this point. <laughs> Activation, what? Integration, spontaneous awakening. Wow, music could be important to you. Follow it, all of it. Follow your desires and what inspires you. If an artist inspires you, if an old Egyptian philosopher inspires you, it is because they are you. Some version of you is in them inspiring back at you saying, yes, there's something significant here for you. Okay, look at this at the bottom of the deck before we go. Eternal love, triumph, you couldn't lose. You've already won victory, success, achievement. You're, you're awake. <laughs> like, you did it. Now, just trust. I love this. Eternal love. Okay, some of you could have a loved one who has passed that is coming through, that has been guiding you. Very specific message here. Very specific. Someone who has passed away that has been guiding you, looking over you, watching over you. Could be a loved one. Could be a partner. Some of you, a wife, husband, grandpa, grandma, auntie mentor, close one, best friend, uncle, whatever the case may be. There is an eternal love of a soulmate um, and you deserve to continue to experience the, the boundlessness of love. You can love more than one. And so there's an abundance of love coming to you as well. So, so, so beautiful. I don't know why this card just did this. We'll take it. Don't be afraid to go after your dreams with the full card here. Queen of Swords. All right, so you could definitely be manifesting someone who is a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, someone who's smart, someone who is an advocate, someone who supports you on your mission. They are part of your mission and purpose. This is very specific for some of you guys, all right, who are not in a committed relationship. All right, now, if you're masculine, you're definitely manifesting this woman, or if you're desiring a feminine energy in your life, you are literally manifesting this, okay? There's an eternal love that is hovering around you. It is someone who is an advocate. This person speaks up. She's, she speaks up, this person, this energy. Now, if you are in a connection already, you could be manifesting someone along your business who is an advocate for you and your business as well. But I'm definitely getting, um, for those of you who are single, this is an eternal love that is a part of your mission here. And they are beautiful. They're different. They're an indigo child. Um, they match your energy. They look different. What I love about you is you look different. You don't look spiritual. And that's why they're saying embrace that. Because spiritual doesn't look like anything. If spiritual looks like anything, it looks like freedom. It looks like love. It looks like peace. It looks like truth. It looks like bliss. It looks like euphoria, that's spiritual. You can't see it physically, but you can feel it. And it, that's what this is all about. So if you guys were drawn to this card, congratulations. I'm excited for your journey. Acknowledge this, celebrate yourself, celebrate you, um, acknowledge you and, and enjoy the fruits of this world. The worldly things can still be enjoyed. 
in having a balanced connection with spirituality and those things. So, all right, I am off. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you're looking for anything, personal readings, chosen readings, you guys can find that down below in the description box or visit thetarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'll see you guys soon. Love and light.